my name is Lauren. I am a brand ambassador with the Rabbit Hole Designs and today I will be showing you how to make this um, kind of mixed media sweet card um, using the brand new Connected by the Stars stencil that was just released and I'll be using a couple of gel plates with some alcohol ink. So I'll use Mermaid gumball and then a very messy um, silver mixative so i will show you what i'll do so this here is a six by six gel plate and then i also am just going to use this here is a nino solar white card panel and it measures i think this is measuring six a little little over six across and um it doesn't have to be a thick cardstock or a cardstock this one isn't isn't very thick you can use whatever cardstock you have um, will will work now what I'll do is first you need a brayer you'll need your alcohol inks this one here is a six by six uh, gel plate and I'm also going to use some acrylic paint that is going to help me lift the acrylic paint uh, the alcohol ink off when it once it has dried on there and I will um, first drop a few drops of alcohol ink directly on the gel plate and then I'll place on my gumball and then I'll brayer them out And you will get a bit of a mix. I'm going to use a side um, gel plate to brayer off the extra onto. You could use um, cardstock or copy paper as well. Then I will place my Connected by the Star stencil on here and then just brayer it on a little bit more just to kind of stick it down. Then I'll use, drop some of the silver in. And then I'm going to try and get that into some of these stars. You don't have to. You can just kind of randomly place that. And then brayer that around. And then I will lift it off like that. And now that is going to dry. It will not take too long um, to dry because it's alcohol inks, of course. Um, but it will, once it's dry, I'll be placing my titanium white on top of that because if you were to place the titanium white acrylic paint on there right now it would pick up a lot of that color that's not quite dry so I'm just gonna pause this for a second okay so I'm back and let's see if this is dry yep it looks like it's dry so what I will do is I'm just gonna place my um, my white off of the um, gel print gel plate because I don't want to end up placing too much white and you don't need a lot you just need kind of like a thin layer coating it so, that's, and that'll be good just like that and again just gonna brayer that off on the side and then place my cardstock on top and then rub that up down making sure that it is contacting all the parts of the paper is in contact with your gel plate okay and then you can remove it and you can see it'll pull up Oof look at that that is pretty and you get some of the mixing of the color so you get some of that purple in there you get the blue you get the silver 
a nice bright pink. All right, so that is going to be the base layer or the background for that. Now, so I'm going to put away my um, six by six and I'll pull out the, a smaller round one that is three um, inches in diameter. Okay, so now I have pulled out my round gel plate. It's three inches diameter and they come in a three pack. I think there's a, a, a square, a triangle and this round one. And we will do the same technique as before. I'm sorry, this washi tape isn't working. I have in the winter really dry skin and my thumb has cracked the knuckle. And so it's not very pretty to look at, but my washi isn't working and we don't have any band-aids <laughs> in the house for some reason. Okay, so there we go. Maybe I'll add a little more closer to each other so there won't be any gaps. And then I'll use the brayer to brayer it out. Ooh, I think we're going to get quite a mixture of color this time. And then, again, my stencil on here. Push it down a little. Get the brayer on there. Just gentle, gentle. So it just sets it on there better. And then add some silver. And the silver goes a long way. So you really don't need much otherwise you're going to have a ton of silver okay and i think that's all i'm going to brayer it and then i'll pull that up carefully put that to the side and now wait for that to dry and like i said before it's not going to take too long for the alcohol ink to dry um, of course, the more ink you place on there, the longer it will take. And then I'll add my white on there too. And you don't want a thick layer of white, just enough to be able to pull up that pattern alcohol ink. And then I'll, um, this is like a, I think it's four and a half by five and a half. And I want it towards the top so that I will be able to get my um, word hello underneath it. And then again, just rub to make sure that the whole part of paper is, is in contact and going to pull up the print from the gel press. Okay. And then I'll carefully remove that. And ooh, that is pretty. That is really nice. Got a little bit of paint on there. Now, I'm just going to wait for this to dry. And then I am going to die cut this using a um, rectangle. And I'll die cut my panel using a rectangle. Um, the, the other panel that we created, um, and I will be right back. All right, so I have all the elements for the card. I have my four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, card base, a two size card base. I cut the panel, the very background panel, and then the um, center, and then my little hello. So I'll adhere everything on right now and using um, my adhesive. And you can use any kind of adhesive you like. Whatever you normally use. And I don't think I got this corner. I'm going to add a little more right there. Oh, perfect. And then um, the center. And this is an easy, you know, one to do. 
and it's super fun using those gel press. I do not use it enough, but there's so much you can do with these, and they're, like I said, so fun to use. And that is coming. There we go. All right, and now I will use, I'm going to use just a pair of reverse tweezers to hold this while I glue it because those are excellent for holding on and you want to make sure that your your H is um, with the little extended part out whoops <laughs> and then okay and then my aloe not left-handed so let me try it this time with my right hand maybe i will have better luck releasing my tweezers <laughs> and get it exactly where you want it and there we go and there you know a a fun and easy and it's flat so it's perfect for mailing and it's different you know it's fun way to use its stencil a different way get more use out of your stencils thank you so much for joining me and come back uh, for more um, inspiration and fun things using um, different products. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.